After about two years, our rice maker stopped working. So I took the rice maker to the shop and removed the three screws from the bottom and took off the access cover. Inside the rice maker, you can see the heating elements, a switch, and some other electrical wiring. I did a test of the input line and found out that one of the lines was not conducting. As you can see, the ohm meter shows no conduction. There must be a, an inline fuse under that plastic white covering. So I took the covering off and found inside a 10 amp fuse. I replaced the old 10 amp fuse with a new 10 amp fuse by soldering the existing wires onto the fuse end caps. Now I want to find out what was the root cause of the failure. Because if we just turn it on and try using it again, it'll probably burn up the new fuse. Inside here you can see that there's a set of dirty contacts. The oxidation on the contacts caused the resistance to increase, which caused the high current and burned the fuse out. A good contact should look polished, and a bad contact has oxidation on it. An easy way to fix it is fold over a piece of sandpaper, put it between the contacts, and slide it back and forth until all the oxidation is removed. By doing it this way, you keep the two contact surfaces parallel. After you're done sanding it, clean it off with a contact cleaner spray and compressed air. Then put the cover back on. Here it is, working just like new. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video.